Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another Gran Turismo 7 money method. This is one that's just recently been added in update 1.29. It is a one time only thing, but it's a really easy one to do. It's at Grand Valley, fantastic circuit, and it's using the Nissan GTR Group 3 from 2018. The car handles beautifully, and one thing that would be beautiful is if you just hit that like and subscribe button. Now I know I mention this in every video like every other YouTuber, but what it does, it does help the channels grow and it just takes a few seconds but let's get into what you actually came here for which is the circuit experience and how you get those 1.2 million credits so let's have a quick look so what you want to do is head yourself over to Grand Valley click on the circuit experience button at the bottom and then we're just going to click on highway one now you can see there's two different challenges there and what you got to do in each one of these is you've got four different sections to do sector one sector two sector three and then the full lap itself now sector one it's a bit of a tricky one we'll just have a quick look at it now and the main part around this is getting through the, the really sweeping corner so this one here you want to break fairly early let the car roll in um, you don't really want to do a lot and try and get the traction down as soon as you can now once you've got that traction down you're going to try and get to the far right and as you're heading down here this next right hand turn is going to be quite quite tricky because what you're going to do is you want to sweep left um, and hit the braking point um, so you get a nice entry into this corner now once you get the little entry in, it's power out, pretty simple, and that's your sector one. Um, we've got a gold in 34.645, which is well into that time. Um, and Sarah's in there congratulating us. Apparently it's amazing work. Once you've done sector one, you're then gonna go and do sector two. Now this is again, um, it shows you before you start what the sector is, and then you're gonna go out onto track and do it. This is another little bit of a tricky section, um, especially this first few corners here. You want to get as far uh, right as you can, and then the camber here does try and spin you out, so you just got to be a bit careful um, and try and break and stay to the right here on this section here. Try and go as far right so you get a nicer run and easier out into the straight. Once you get down through the tunnel, apparently this is a tunnel that does exist in real life, so I might need to check that out at some point in my life. Um, take it easy into second gear again you're going to sweep through um, and let the car roll until you can actually feel that traction hit you as soon as you hit the traction go as far as you can and mind that barrier and that's it your sector two is now done and apparently it's amazing work again thanks to sarah and now we go into sector three sector three does have one very tricky chicane um, right after the tunnel um, which i'm going to show you but before you get to the tunnel you need to be careful where you brake. If you brake too late, if you brake past the 200, you're going to struggle to get the car turned in into the sector. Because what you want to do is stay on the far right as you can, hug the corner there, so you can then go and hug these corners. Now, I've not done it as well as I probably could, but you can slightly mount those corners, um, and it just gives you a bit better turning. Be careful when you're coming out the tunnel, because the light does bind you. It does take a while to adjust, so that's actually quite good from real life. In this tunnel here, you want to just take it as flat out as you possibly can. Um, and it's just a nice long straight now to the finish line so a very easy sector other than that tricky chicane there and once you're done with that you then have the whole lap to do so it's a one lap time attack it gives you a bit of a rundown of what it is if you can see there I'm trying to get a gauge of where I'm going to be big names on my uh, list there so I'm going to try and be as close as I possibly can to them and now we're really what you've got to do is you've got to put everything you've learned from each one of those three sectors into that one single lap it's that, the whole point of the circuit period, it does help you learn the track, but sector by sector. Um, and doing the whole lap in itself afterwards, it's going to get you that experience to when you go into the online races. Now, the, this week coming, Daily Race C is going to be, I believe, in the Group 3s at Grand Valley. So this is the guide that you probably need to do. Get this credit, which will actually help you learn the track before you get into Race C next week. So as you can see here, Remember this corner, um, is the camber does affect you and it can spit the car out. So you just need to be careful and let the car roll in. And here, you wanna just go a bit slower, get to the right hand side and then take the corner. A first gear did work actually here for me. Um, and then get straight on the accelerator um, and head over. Now, in here, you wanna let the car coast. You can actually go into third if you really want to, uh, just to get a bit of extra traction um, and again, let the car coast and on the power as soon as you can now one thing i have seen here is if you look in the photos of this circuit there are apparently some seals hidden away on the beach so you might want to go and check out the seals um but you won't see them from this tunnel again 
you'll be blinded here so you just need to kind of guess and as you can see here I am mounting those corners a little bit more than I did before and I know you can actually mount them a little bit more as well now going into this tunnel again it's just keeping that foot down or your, or your finger on the trigger whichever one you use do you use a controller do you use um, uh, pedals so let me know in the comments which one you use it will actually be interesting to know um, and as you go through across the finish line and um, we're going to get a 149.259 which is actually a decent lap um, it's an easy 1.2 million credits and as you can see we've done all three sectors we've done the lap time attack and we've got 48,000 extra credits four star tickets so you're going to get that anyways if that's the first thing you're doing you get them all bronze 200,000 and a 1 million for getting all gold so that's 1.2 million plus that 48,000 and the ticket so whatever you get on top of that so decent payout good lap guide for your daily race this week if you have enjoyed it please do hit that like button and subscribe button and before you go remember check out this video here on the bottom right and i'll see you on the next one